Have you ever stopped to think about how you are using your strengths and skills to help others less privileged than yourself? Well, only 56% of South Africans end up volunteering at least once per year. With that being said, I would like to share with you what I did to fall under this 56% category. Walking backstage in a smart shirt, chinos and cleanly shaven, I anticipate the crowd of unfamiliar faces. Faces that I'll be talking to for my first outside radio broadcast. From fixing my hair and tightening my belt, to last minute coughs and all those other nervous gestures we do before entering the spotlight, I take to the stage. It was mid-December, which meant the gift of giving filled the atmosphere. Hopefully, that meant the audience were more prepared to donate money to Miracle Kids, which is a charity foundation that provides temporary accommodation, tends to basic needs, and finds a safe household for abandoned children. All the funds that were raised at this music concert proceeded to Miracle Kids, and it was my responsibility as the MC of the evening in the form of an outside broadcast to make sure that happened. There is a lot of effort that goes into making a concert a success. I mean, I have attended numerous music concerts over the years, and I've never really stood back and appreciated the lighting and the sound. But after the physical hardship of setting up and breaking down, I'll make sure next time to acknowledge due credit. The low light of the concert was when a high school resident student pulled out the main power cable. It was a total shutdown. All the computers crashed and we were delayed by at least 25 minutes. The worst part of it all was that it was during the concert. I can still remember seeing the audience speaking amongst themselves and I could just picture the smack they must have been talking about us. It's strange though how we can become so accustomed to a situation that once made you nervous. You get used to talking to yourself in a room, but if you take the same aspects of radio, which is a microphone and the ability to entertain and place a person in a new environment, all of a sudden they're not as confident as they used to be. It was honestly a nerve-wracking experience. The most memorable situation and a memory that will stick with me for a lifetime is when I had the honor of announcing and awarding the raffle prize, which was a pair of handmade wine glasses to a woman who had just turned 90 years of age. But at the end of the day, knowing that you made a difference, even in the slightest way, in the eyes of the underprivileged Miracle Kids, is what kept us going. The satisfaction was immense, and this is what made the hustling and bustling worth it.